So it's 3 o'clock, we just made it to the loading dock. I'm gonna go ahead and look for our table and unload our stuff. Luckily we were able to park inside and then go straight to the vending area. Okay. It's the whole venue. I feel like this one is mine. All right, it was really easy to find my table. I was right next to the loading dock. So now I'm going back to the car to unload everything. All right, we got our stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and unload. So we arrived at the convention center a day early before the show started on Friday. And loading in was surprisingly easy. Usually at conventions, you have to park outside of the convention center and then walk quite a bit of distance with your products up and down elevators and escalators. It can get pretty complicated. But at this show, they made it so simple. The loading dock was located inside the same convention center, which was great because it was downpouring. It was raining a lot. And I was worried about my products getting wet, but thankfully everything arrived safe and dry. My booth, as you could see from the previous clip, was the closest to the loading dock. So I was located in the far back, which made setting up very easy. Overall, it took about an hour and a half to get all my products set up together. It was a very simple process. And I was a bit worried about my location at first. Um, I had some art friends telling me they were a bit nervous about our booth location. But overall, it turned out fine. I was pretty happy with how easy it was to set up. Okay, it's 5.20. We just finished setting up the shop and wrapped it up for tonight. And then we're going to open tomorrow for Saturday. It's about 9.15 and I just finished setting up shop. Let me show you guys. All right, I just finished setting up shop. So let me give you guys a very quick tour. Up on the left side, I have my pink sweaters are here. And then we split the table like this. So at the top, we have my tote bags, my prints. I decided to hang my keychains, just trying, to, trying something new. Mystery bags, keychains, mouse pads. At the bottom, we have a bunch of die cut stickers, a few new designs, and Pico stickers, and some cups. Um, I do have two new designs right here, and some prints people can flip through since I had some empty space, and zipper pouches here. I think I have a few new designs, I don't exactly recall, but yeah, some zipper pouches. Then on this side is the plushies and cups. So we have the mini cheap plushies down here, some cups at the bottom, some resin keychains people can pick up. We have the Pokemons, the Chibi plushies, anime plushies, and hats all the way at the top. Strawberry bag and meringue. And then on this side, we decided to hang a couple more items. We have some of the bucket hats and Inganapa up there. Now let me show you guys the back. Um, we usually bring our own director's chairs because it's just more comfortable. And this is the chaoticness of the back of the booth, so. Right here we have like all the plushies. Oh, my finger's in the camera, oh my goodness. <laughs> but this is where we keep the plushies and cups. On this side is where we keep like cups and tote bags, extra stock. I put some cups up here so I can just quickly give them the customers. Cooler for drinks, some personal stuff. I'm stuffing my zipper pouches so they look a little bit more appealing. And yeah, it's pretty much the back of the booth. Since I have some free time, I'm gonna go ahead and prep some of my products. So Right now, I'm just going to stuff my zipper pouches here. 
the show. It's bigger than Fayetteville, but not as big as GalaxyCon. I don't remember what the attendance rate is. You can pick up whatever you like. <laughs> it wasn't too. I was worried it was gonna be too small. Am I taking up too much of a gap for no, you? No, am I? I thought we were gonna be in the way of each other, but I can reach over this as long as it's flat. Yeah. What? Here? Yeah. No. If you want, you can put something in the middle. Well, I would, but just like personal stuff. Yeah. These are 20, right? Okay. Oh. It's okay. It's mostly for the little kids. You're good. No worries. <laughs> nice. That's good. <laughs> yes, you can pick up and touch whatever you like. I gotta remember to keep my mic on so you guys can hear me a little bit better. But yeah, this sweet girl just came out. She gave me this super cute box. Look how adorable it is. Her Etsy shop is called The Colors of Cosplay. Please give them a follow. Ooh, I don't know what she gave me, but it's so cute. <gasps> She gave me so much Sakura stuff. She knows I like Sakura things. Oh my goodness, look at these. Wow. She got me Sakura earrings. Ooh, I'm definitely going to wear these. <gasps> and I got like little angel Sakura clips. It's so cute. Oh, and this is her card. Please go give them a follow. Wow. Mom, look, she gave me Sakura stuff. I'm going to wear these tomorrow. So I have like a Sakura outfit. And then she gave me clips. <laughs> oh my god. Let me properly show you her card. This is her card called The Colors of Cosplay. Please go give them a follow. Oh my gosh. So the crowd on Saturday was incredible. I was pleasantly surprised that it was so busy at this con. I kind of had low expectations, if I'm being honest. Um, I participated in this show about two years ago prior to COVID. And it wasn't that great of a turnout as far as I remember. But this year, I was pleasantly surprised. It was a huge crowd, and it was crazy nonstop sales since the show opened for the guests at 10 o'clock. But yeah, I was a bit nervous because I was separated from a lot of the Artist Alley folks. If you saw my map on Instagram, you would have seen like the Artist Alley. They were all on the left side of the entrance, and they actually separated um, two rows of the Artist Alley on the far back right. I was put in the back, so I really wasn't expecting much. I had very low expectations, but I was pleasantly, pleasantly wrong. <laughs> it was nonstop sales. You saw in the past clip, I filled up an entire sales sheet within the first 30 minutes of the con and made back my travel expenses. So it was really great, actually. I had so much fun at the show. The sales were amazing, and I hit record sales, actually. She was so sweet. She's a very talented artist. 
she gave me this super cute package of cute Animal Crossing stickers, Animal Crossing prints, and look at this kitty. Her art style is so cute. Thank you so much, Foyba. I love it. <laughs> For this show, I did apply a little bit late, so I was only able to get one 8-foot table for my shop. But my mom and I made it work. Uh, we changed our display so it's kind of like a half-half situation with the white plushy side and the pink stationary side. And then we made this gap in the middle so it would be easy for us to both take the sails simultaneously. Um, it was pretty easy. I'm thankful that my mom also helped selling as well because that way we can make twice as many sales. So we had that gap in the middle and then I try to utilize the back of my booth to store my cups. So I'm not going up and down too much restocking my items. But yeah, sales on Saturday was really great. I feel like from 10 o'clock to maybe 2 o'clock, well, actually, no, that's wrong. From the start of the show to the very end, I was pretty much taking non-stop sales. I really wasn't able to leave my table unless it was to, like to take a quick restroom break, which is good for me. Like, that's why I'm here. I'm here to make sales, make connections, and to promote my business. So, it was pretty awesome. It's been super busy, so I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break. And I'm sorry if this vlog seems a little bit repetitive. Like I said, on Saturday, I really wasn't able to leave my table. There was just so many customers. I probably went through like 30 people in like a span of two minutes. So it was crazy and hectic, but really good sales for business. Um, one thing I liked about this show is I felt like there was a lot of like crafters in the guest crowd. A lot of people were so appreciative of like the crochet artwork and saying that they crochet or they do crafts as well. And I really appreciate that because at some shows, you'll get customers that will try to kind of haggle you or say that your prices are too expensive. But at this show, sometimes there'll be little kids saying like, oh, I don't have enough money and stuff. But the parents will be like, do you know how much work goes into making these things? This takes hours and hours and days. So. The guests were so amazing at the show. I just felt so appreciated and recognized for my work. It made me really happy that there was a lot of artistic people in the crowd. And I was always surprised to get recognized at this show. Uh, so many of you guys came out to see me and I just want to say I appreciate you so much. You guys are the real ones. It's so crazy to meet followers and subscribers in real life. Like, it makes me so happy to meet you guys. So thank you for everyone who stopped by my booth. You guys are amazing. So it's 3 p.m. Things have been going really smoothly so far. Sales have been amazing today. It's pretty much been non-stop since the opening. I sold out of a few items I'm going to show you guys later, but I just sold out of my last Kirby cup. It's the last hour of the convention and things sometimes slow down a 
bit. So I'm just walking around the artist alley and saying, hey, this is 5.40. It's pretty much the end of the convention, and so far, day one was awesome. I only have two more of the Sakura sweaters left. I sold a lot of the strawberry cow and Hello Kitty tote bags and sold out of my Sanrio right here. The keychains did awesome. Like, this is pretty much all I have left of the keychains. Mystery bags did great. I think I only have like maybe 10 left. Like this is pretty much all I have left. Mouse pads did all right. Stickers did all right, but the Peeker stickers are really popular today. I sold out of a lot of different designs. And the cups did pretty good. I sold out of the ghost cup and the Kirby cup. Zipper pouches did all right too. Oh my gosh, these bins went out so quickly. We kept refilling them and refilling them. And these are the only of the little plushies we had left. We sold out of I can't remember. We sold out of Nesico, and we have, I think, one more Your Cup. Keychains did pretty good, actually, and we sold out of Pikachu, too. The top, we have one more Sailor Mercury. Last Nesico up here, and the hats did really good, too. It was so cool watching everyone wearing the hats around the con. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of day one. All right, 6.10, we just finished packing up the shop. We're gonna go out to eat and back to the hotel for tomorrow. All packed up. It looks a little bit wonky, but that's okay. And we're leaving now. <laughs> we're leaving now. Loading dock, and we're gonna go ahead and open up shop for today. Ready for day two? So, when we come back to the shop, we always try to come about an hour early before the VIP show floor opens and not that it takes us an hour to set up but usually we end up kind of conversing with the other vendors we have a few vendor friends that like to stop by and say hi so that way we don't feel too rushed setting up for the next morning right here i do like to clip up the tablecloth in the back just because that way it's easy to access all of our products and supplies and we're not constantly holding it up throughout the day so I like to clip up the tablecloth, get the lighting situation together. And since I was running out of stickers, I decided to move my mouse pads to the front of the table, just so it wouldn't look too empty. Okay, so it's 9.53. We have about 30 minutes before the VIP floor opens to the guests at 10.30. Uh, right now, we're currently setting up the shop at the moment and doing some last finishing. Alright, it's 10.22. I'm just walking around the convention to see what it offers and looking around the artist alley. Pins. They're all so cute and unique. It's still in the bag, but look, it's a little artist. It's so cute. So Sunday morning was pretty slow, which is as expected. Usually early on Sunday, it's slow at the conventions. We can really take our time talking to the customers. 
Also, sorry, the video quality isn't so good right here. I think my phone was overheating, so I'd had a hard time like detecting the light and stuff. It really messed with the quality of the video on Sunday, and it was just having a hard time recording, but it's okay. Right here, my mom and I actually decided to match today. We were wearing my Sakura sweaters and wearing ponytails, which is pretty fun to match. But yeah, Sunday was pretty chill. I was able to take my time talking to the customers and just having good conversations with the cosplayers. I got a little haul from Anime Kitty Box. They're super sweet vendors. They got so many cute little keychains for my little cousins and my mom and I. Look at this little froggy. Oh my gosh. My mom and I got matching peach keychains. I got a boba one. But he's so sweet, he gave us some like desserts. <laughs> Despite it being slow on Sunday, the turnout was still really good. I feel like I made the same amount as I would at a four day convention that I did at this show, which was only two days. The crochet bucket hats were really popular and we actually sold out of a lot of them. They were so awesome. But yeah, we actually hung them on the side so that we can get more attention when people are walking by. Okay, so it's day two, Sunday. It's 319. It's been really busy. I haven't had much time to vlog, but it's been non-stop customers just like yesterday. I do think it's a little bit slower than yesterday, but the customers have been really great so far. I'm having so much fun at this show. It's definitely been like one of my best cons in a long time. But yeah, a crowd definitely started to gather on our left side. Uh, I wasn't really sure why there were so many empty chairs on Saturday, but I finally got my answer. Um, a lot of the cosplayers were gathering for a cosplay competition that was going to start in the middle of Sunday. So that's why I got really crowded on near my table, which was great because that meant there was more customers for us to interact with. And also, it's just fun to look at, you know. Sometimes it can get a little boring staring at the same space for like eight hours at a time at the artist alley because you're stuck behind your table. So it's always interesting to see all the different cosplays and costumes that are at the convention. My Sanrio print, my Haku and Calcifer keychains, lots of Peeker stickers, um, and all of my mystery bags. Um, this is the leftover keychains. This is what's left of my stickers. The mouse pads did okay. Oh man, the cups did really well. I only have one more strawberry cup. Other than that, I sold out of all the other designs. This is what's left of my zipper pouches, the $10 Totoro's did really really well. These are the cups. We sold out of our Anya, Nezuka one. We have one more Your cup here. And we sold out of a Spirited Away cup. This is what's left over of the keychains. Now we actually sold out of Pikachu and Squirtle over here. And the Avatar plushies did pretty good. We sold out of Sailor Moon of course. And we always sold out of Nezuko. Uh, I think we only had one more pom-pom put in left, and we sold out of the cinnamon roll hat too. And oh my gosh, the plushies over here did really well. We had like a Hello Kitty, a Lucky, no, uh, Strawberry Bunny, Strawberry Bag, and Meringue actually sold out too. So it was really great. I'm so glad. We have a lot less to take home, and we also sold out of um, the cinnamon roll hat. 
I have one more up and in. That's it, 6.42. We just finished cleaning up. And we're gonna leave now. All right, and we're headed home. <sighs> that was tiring. <laughs> All right, and that's a wrap. I can't believe you made it to the very end of the video. Thank you so much for watching my entire vlog. If you did make it to the end, feel free to comment below a flower emoji. I love to know the special awesome people who watch the entire video. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next week at Fayetteville Comic Con. Have a good day. Bye.